All right, it is time for my weekly park bench date with Owen Curry. And I think, Owen, they've saved the best bench to last. Yep, this is the bench with the credentials. <laughs> yeah. Certainly is. Come here, great to see you. You've got um, news by way of update for Limerick. King John's Castle, if it's due to close next week, it's open till the end of the year. Really great news. And Bunratty Folk Park, that's got the extra funding to stay open to the end of the year. That's great. King John's is a very special place, by the way. I've seen castles in lots of countries. But what King John's does best is it shows you how siege used to work, how they used to tunnel under the castle to try and get in, because the visitor centre brings you back to all those tunnels that were constructed. There's an adventure company as well, Catherine. They allow you to abseil uh, outside of the walls of the castle wow. nowadays, and it's a lot easier without the boiling oil. <laughs> certainly is. Uh, what other news of Limerick? Limerick changed the city around the last two decades. It's now facing down and celebrating the Shannon, the modern architecture. A couple of museums certainly worth looking at. The Hunt Museum, one of the original pieces of silver from the Bible is in the Hunt Museum. Now, even if that story doesn't check out, it's of the right age and the right vintage. And there are other things like Mary, Queen of Scots, her cross, lots of other things in the city. A sense of what we've discovered this summer is that very often a place in Ireland that we've been to maybe 10, 20 years ago, we think it's one and done. It's not worth going back. But so much has changed. So much has developed. Foynes has a terrific air museum. The flying boats that used to stop. This was the end of journeys in the 1930s. That's where you can visit a real flying boat. And this celebrates the golden age of the celebrities like Grace Kelly, the statesmen like JFK. Everyone had to stop in Limerick because that's as far as the planes used to fly at that stage. Wow. You know what, it's great to hear all the good news, but we know that it has been a difficult time for the tourism industry. How do you think people themselves are coping? It's been very, very difficult. A whole new set of regulations. They've been changing all the time. Whole new set of safety concerns. But the industry has done really well. And the customers have been very, very good. 1820, that's the number of businesses that have signed up for the Falsha Ireland COVID safety scheme. Wow. You see the green sticker there. Yeah. It means the premises have been checked out. It means the staff have been uh, all trained up to keep everybody safe. It's been a difficult time, but let's con it's going to continue on until the autumn. Places are open, and in this new world, we're offering an awful lot of product, which is perfectly safe. It's outdoors, it's adventure. It's all the things we should be looking to anyway before coronavirus arrived. Absolutely. Well, listen, thanks for the updates, as always. Great to see you and look after yourself. Always a pleasure, Catherine.